Hi! In this video, I'm going to talk about how you propagate uncertainties. What does that mean? Well, let's say you have some variable x, and you know the uncertainty in that, we'll call it sigma x. But what you're really interested in is some different variable y, which is some function of x. What you want to know is what is the uncertainty in y, which we'll call sigma y. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the simplest, most straightforward, and most of the time most reliable way to do this, which is just to plug in the numbers. The basic idea is you plug in your best fit value of x and see what y is. Then you have put in x plus the uncertainty, see what your value of y is. x minus the uncertainty, see what the value of y is. And then look at the range of that to get the range of uncertainties in y. So let's try that. Let's pick an example. Um, let's say we've got a building and someone's dropping things off the top and you time how long it takes to get to the bottom because you want to find out how tall the building is, the height h. Now we know from equations of projectile motion that h equals half g t squared. And let's say that t is equal to um, 2 seconds plus or minus I don't know, 0 0.1. So then, what is the value of h and what's the uncertainty? Well, to work out the value of h, you just substitute 2 in here. So you get half g2 squared, which is tells you the value of h is half times g times 2 squared, which is 19.6 meters. But now, let's try putting in 2 plus 0.1. So now we're half g 2.1 squared. And that gives us a value of 21.6. And to check that, we can try 2 minus 0 0.1. So that's half g times 1.9 squared, which is 17.7. This is telling us that the one standard deviation range of x, of, of the height, will be somewhere in the range 17.7 to 21.6. So we can take... 21.6, which is 2 more than that, and 17.7 .7 is 1.9 less than that. This will usually case, you've got what are called asymmetric error bars. The error bar up and down are not quite the same. In this case, they're pretty much the same. So you'd be, you could say that h equals 19.6 plus or minus either 2 or 1.9. Either would be fine. Um, when the uncertainty is small compared to the value, you normally find the up and down error bars are about the same size. So just take either of them or the average, whatever you like, it doesn't make much difference. If you want to be very formal about it, you can actually say that h equals 19.6 plus 2 minus 1.9. And that's the way you write down asymmetric error bars. So that's a simple way. You want to work out the uncertainty in something, which is a function of something else. Just plug in your best fit value of that to work out the best fit value of this. Then plug in your best fit value plus the uncertainty here and work out the best fit value plus uncertainty here. And the difference between the best fit value and the best fit plus uncertainty gives you the error bar. And if the error bars are asymmetric, they're different up and down, which is usually only the case if the uncertainty is fairly large compared to this then you might do a plus and a minus over there to get the two different values.